always trying to get a piece of Hollywood right here in our studios, right? You know, we all want to glam it up, especially get a, get a taste of what's going on on the red carpets out there. And somebody who's getting a first-hand experience of that is the lady sitting next to us. She's absolutely incredibly beautiful, incredibly <laughs> talented, and she has had an amazing life so far. Mark Hundler, welcome to Expresso on your little holiday that you've now taken. You, you, you live in New York, but <laughs> now do. you're here. Thank you so much for having me here. I mean, it's so early in the morning, but I'm so excited. The, the only thing I kept thinking, <laughs> looking at Marco, is she's actually met Lupita. Nyong'o. Oh, like not I, Lupita I, I, though. I know. I'm yes. Like, what is she like? Yes, Lupita is amazing. I got to Does meet her. Does she look like me? Yes, but you're even better looking. You're no, even. Don't say that. <laughs> I want to look like her. <laughs> Lupita wow. is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when look. you see her in person, that happened. Wow. wow. True story. I like about passed out, and I just think she's amazing. Not only is she just Harvard, Yale educated, but she's beautiful and she's talented. But she so looks you. Great. Wait, wait, wait. Before Do you have her on speed dial? Do you have her on speed dial? Not yet. But well, we're gonna become <laughs> friends because she's a friend in my head. Me and Lupita will be BFFs. It starts there. I see it. I see it. You, you're from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. You moved to New York when you were only 10 years yeah. old. You've got a remarkable career. When yeah. did you realize you want to you want to work in entertainment? Well, you know, I think I've always loved the, into, the world of entertainment. Growing up in Zimbabwe, I used to watch a lot of TV. I was into Dallas and the Dolly Parton show, so I was always intrigued about the world of That's celebrity. That's all of us. That's all of us. Y'all yeah. like Dolly Parton too? Because I love <laughs> country music. Black people love country music. <laughs> so I moved to New York and I just got exposed to so many cultures and so many mm. people, and that kind of opened up my eyes and kind of set it off. Yeah, and, and what about the, the, the big break for you? I mean, yeah. you won this competition that was mm -hmm. run by Russell Simmons' mm -hmm. company. You work for him right now, I which think. must be absolutely amazing. <laughs> I followed the guy on Twitter, and yeah. he's an inspiration when you follow him yeah. there. What's it like working for him, and how did that come about, that opportunity? Do you know what? I still get goosebumps when I think about that moment. Yeah. So I entered a competition. It was 5,000 people that entered the competition, and I won. Wow. And they selected it. They slimmed it down from 5,000 to about the top 25, and Russell handpicked the top five mm -hmm. wow. and he went through all our interviews and our profiles and I your girl from Zimbabwe wow. was selected as the winner that come on crazy. now come yeah. on now thank you thank you we've thank got you. African Hollywood and it's represented by Michael herself right here yeah. I, I, I can't believe this you know what although you've lived in the US for so long now mm -hmm. what what has been some of the highlights who have you interviewed Oh, gosh. Okay, so my favorite group ensemble interview are the Braxton sisters. Oh, wow. uh, Tamar, Tony. I mean, I just love talking to them. The dynamic was just yeah. incredible. They're wild, though. They're wild, yeah. <laughs> and they don't sign their own checks, right? They don't sign their own checks. No, no. Oh, oops. Oh, <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> the other favorite celebrity that I love talking to was Jada Pinkett Smith. You oh, guys, wow. Jada Pinkett oh, smells so she? good. She's very short. Yeah. Her daughter, Willow, is way, way taller than her. This is Jada. This is Willow. I mean, <laughs> but Jada smells so good. Really? I had to be like, girl, what is that perfume? Can you give me some of that? I mean, she is incredible. I love wow. Jada. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about this right now, and maybe you could shed some light on the on the topic for other young people out there that want to make it in Hollywood. Yeah. What does it take to mm. make it in Hollywood and to be on that grind every single day making a success? It takes a lot of honesty. First of all, you have to discover what it is that you want to do. There are so many jobs within the entertainment industry, behind the scenes, in front of the camera. You have to really discern and determine what you want to do. And also be yourself. Mm. My favorite quote is by Nelson Mandela, which is, it always seems impossible until until it's done. Boom. So build out your own lane, stay in that lane, and just really be a successful person. Wow. So I'm all about it. You're that. amazing. You that. should have your own show. I I'm that. literally hanging on her lips. Like, <laughs> can we put that out in the universe? <laughs> yes. Just can just do please? it. You, yeah. Put it to look into that camera right there. <laughs> let, you know what? Let, let me talk to my boy Ryan Secrets. Yo, Ryan, uh, um, listen, uh, I'm Michael, here. she be the business, yo. Make it happen. I'm, I'm just saying, saying money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we want to hear about some of the. This is from my producer. That's why I'm yeah, reading it. Yeah. Uh, we want to. Some of the celebrities that we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna play a game. Are yes, this is a game? game now. We want I to love know. Games. So we're getting the, the Hollywood scoop on okay. these celebrities as from you. So <laughs> okay. so you got to give us your opinion on what's happening in these in these people's lives. Lady okay. Gaga, go. Lady Gaga, okay. I don't know how Lady Gaga has fell off so bad. She used to be like the biggest pop star in the world, but now she's just crazy. Like the outfits, the album's not selling that well. So Lady Gaga fans, do not tweet me, do not get at Little me, monsters. but I'm not with Little Lady monsters. Gaga. Okay, I have one, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Oh gosh, what is wrong with Justin Bieber, you guys? All these crazy celebrities. I think Justin Bieber needs a lot of help. His parents really need to be parents and stop trying to be his friends. Wow. wow. I read okay. the longest comment thread yesterday regarding this one person about exactly why she became famous, why she's still on the map, Kim Kardashian. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am such <laughs> anti-Kim Kardashian. Really? And the fact that she's on the cover of a Vogue yeah. just kind of like throws me way off. But I realized that it was a ploy by Anna Wintour. You gotta move those magazines. Mm. You still have to okay. sell those magazines. So. But shout out to Kim. She's built her own lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but I'm not a Kim Kardashian fan. Lupita Nyong'o. Oh, Lupita? Don't we love Lupita? I 
I love no, Lupita. No. I think that, you know, her winning the Oscar just really solidifies her career. And I tell you, this girl is going places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's not one dimensional. I feel like she has so many roles that she can play. I see her being a love interest. I see her being a sister friend. I mean, there's so much. I love her. But wow. that, listen, isn't, aren't they overexposing her? Because she was in my inbox last night as well. I mean, I even <laughs> tweeted about it. I was like, Lupita is being Not that she. Did she email you? No. Oh, oh she. You? Oh. People emailed me about Lupita. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. okay. Here's the thing with Lupita and Younger. We have to realize that the whole Academy nomination process is a process. It is politics. It's about being out there. So you have to be overexposed because no one will know who you are. Mm -hmm. But I think if you've noticed after the Academy Awards, she hasn't been out there so much. Mm -hmm. She's done a couple of shows and a couple of Instagram pictures with some A-list celebrities, but she realizes what she's doing. So th that's the smart girl. Well Makunlovo.blogspot.com. Yes. That's how we get hold of her and all her interviews. You're amazing. Thank you. We wish you only the best. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for coming from Africa. Yes, in Hollywood. of course. Representing girl. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Okay, so that's how we get hold of our girl. So Makunlovo.blogspot. All right, we're going to take a very quick ad break. We'll be right back on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.